Hi, I'm Mark Hicks. I'm going to cook a seasonal seafood stew today with lobster, cockles, mussels, Irish rock oysters, scallops, which is a perfect summery dish to be washed down with a bottle of Guinness. So first job, I've got a lobster. Now, I haven't cooked the lobster all the way through. I've kept it sort of almost cooked, so it's still slightly under. Now, lobsters are quite expensive, so what I've done here is I've used the actual shells from the lobster. I'm just going to use the tail meat and the claw meat to actually make the sauce. So the simple way to make the stock, really, with this dish is you chop up the lobster head, you use the shells from the claws. I'm going to keep the tail actually in the shell itself. And you just make a stock with some tomato puree, some onions, some leeks, some carrots, a little bit of saffron, peppercorns, and that just goes into a pot and it simmers away. So with a freshly cooked lobster like this, it's still warm, it's quite easy to get it out of the shell. Now the tail I'm actually going to keep in the shell, so it just stays nice and moist and also it looks a bit more generous on the plate. With a heavy knife, just crack through the shell. Now with the oysters, if you're a little bit nervous at home about the oyster knife and cutting yourself, they're going to be cooked anyway, so a simple way to do it is to just to steam them open in the pan, rather like you would with mussels. What I'm going to do here is actually use a little splash of Guinness just to cause some steam. What you can do is actually put a lid of some description on. Right, so whilst we're waiting for the oysters to steam, I'm just going to season the scallops. Shellfish stock is on the go. You can just pan fry your scallops very, very lightly so they're still raw in the middle. And right at the end, we can just put all the ingredients together. Okay, so these are beginning to open now. So when I steam the cockles and the mussels, I'm just going to add a shallot, finely chopped. Now it's important when you're chopping shallots or onions at home, when you peel them, just to keep the root on. What that does is keeps the shallot or your onion intact whilst you're chopping it. Sharp knife, crucial. They're going to go in the pan to steam our mussels and cockles. Now I'm going to add some chopped parsley and chives right at the end just to give the stew a nice fresh flavour. I'm going to chop the parsley fairly coarsely because that will wilt a bit once it goes into the stock. Chop a few chives. So I'm just going to saute the scallops a touch. I'm using a little bit of rapeseed oil here. We're on a healthy summer diet. I'm just going to cook them very quickly in the oil, just to give them a little bit of colour on the outside. <clears throat> okay, so they're fine. I'm just going to pop those back on the plate so they're ready to go in. Now I'm just going to steam open the cockles and the mussels. Now I think once again I'm just going to use a little bit of Guinness just to help steam them open. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this stock that's been simmering away on the back. Now you can even leave your lobsters halved like this. Or a nice thing to do is actually to just to remove them from the shell. And this is purely from a presentation point of view. 
and just reverse the, the tail meat back into the shell like this. All right, so they're just opening now. They, now's the time to add everything else. So I'm going to strain that lovely stock back into it. Okay, so I'm just going to pop the lid back on. Everything is going to just steam through nicely. Okay, here we go. Now what you could do, it, I, I've kept this stock really nice and light and natural. If you wanted to, you could add some double cream at the end, or you can even add some garlic when you're steaming the mussels and cockles to begin with. But I quite like the idea in the summer of a, a nice, light, fresh tasting fish stew. Okay, there we go, nice, delicious. Summery stew, perfect with a glass of cold Guinness. <laughs>